morning rituals. And this is how I keep myself hydrated throughout the day and start the day, day out very good is I just chuck down one liter of water. I just whoosh, it's just chugging down, no saving, it's just all of it down at once. First when I wake up. Welcome back to Fueling Your Life podcast, episode 6. Today we are talking about hydration and what is the importance of hydration and how it affects our performance. Because most of our body mass is actually water weight. And it's set out to be about 60% of our body is water. And hydration plays a key key role in keeping our body health healthy and functioning. But it also can help us control our eating habits, how much food we eat, as it also gives a sense of uh, fullness. But first, let's dive into how it affects our, our performance. Because if you're working in an office setting or in some other capacity where you need to stay focused for a long period of time and you need to use your brain a lot, then it's important that you are fully hydrated as, as it will make you in some way feel more energetic that you don't feel this slug in your head. It will also help you avoid he headaches and, and migraines due to dehydration. So it also it gives your body um, the ability to keep function throughout the day by sipping on some water. When we are Doing sports when we are working out, it's important also that we drink a lot of water, especially if we are in an environment with high heat or we're doing high intense exercises where we will sweat a lot because this, our sweat will help control our body temperature. So it, we will alleviate a lot of water. There will also me that we or you can say um, that the water we intake is is not only doing the workout but we actually had to do it prior because that actually was make us feel hydrated to when we go into our workouts or, or whatever we are doing so especially, for example, I ran a, a half marathon and the whole whole week prior to running the half marathon was basically just eating probably and fill up all your deposits and you basically didn't do any exercise and you just drink plenty of water and especially the day before you drink so much water to just be hydrated for the next day. And then during the race, you will still save on water, but it was just to main, maintain the hydration throughout the throughout the one. And when we also go back to what I talk about food, that it creates a sense of fullness when we eat, then I, I actually studies have shown that if you drink 500 milliliters of water before you are going to eat, then you can avoid overeating as it gives you a sense of fullness. And if we can avoid overeating, we can also avoid like big sugar spikes will, will uh, cross our energy level and, and, and make us crash during the day. So with water, we can do a lot of different things, but going into the way we can stay hydrated. So one good thing is always, always keep a water bottle around you and with you that you can carry around from work, in the car, on the bus, train, in your backpack, and so on. Prefer preferably a, me a metal bottle that you can uh, continue reuse, you can wash it, 
because these plastic bottles have a lot of uh, phthalates in it, in the plastic, and also when it gets heated and uh, continue to use, you basically want the plastic bottle down and then you bring all these uh, bad chemicals that's in the plastic. To know whether or not we are hydrated, we also want we want to look at the color of our pee, which is which can be an indicator. So you want it slightly yellow, as in that way you are still uh, peeing out, uh, or say um, waste uh, from your body, and this waste can be from your muscle uh, if you have done a workout you feel sore so all the waste that that have built up in your muscle will be transported out so it's also important to drink water for the hydration but you want to keep it slightly yellow because if it's clear all the time then you peeing out all your vitamins and minerals one thing that you have to be aware of is that you will go to the bathroom more. When I started out drinking more water, it, I had this where I felt, first of all, I had to pee every single hour. But then I also sometimes felt that, that I still had to pee, even though I didn't, I, I shouldn't pee. But I just felt like, and it was so weird because you didn't know, also I, I was studying, so you will be in a class, uh, can I go out? You you feel like you you are about to pee, but you shouldn't pee, so you're not sure and oh fuck, and it's so confusing because you don't didn't know when you actually uh, want, need to pee or or not. Um, but yeah, so a lot of people also find drinking water is a bit boring as there's no taste in it. Um. But what you actually also end up having is that, for example, from fruit, vegetables, and meat, that you can also get water from these sources, as it contains water, and you can, for example, see it from the meat, from the vegetables, that the reason why is especially the vegetables swings is because it's evaporating a lot of uh, water uh, from it and you will also be able to see it in, in the pan for example and also if you noticed for example if you are cooking chicken in the oven you will see that there will be a lot of like uh, liquid in the bottom of of the tray you just put in So it's basically, there are certain uh, fruit that was called uh, good to eat, as it has a lot of water, which is orange, especially watermelon is good, and it's summer here, so there's a lot of water. So it's a good time to eat some watermelon, as it has a lot of water in it. I just bought a 16 kilo watermelon, so I have plenty for the next four days. And one of my uh, morning rituals, and this is how I keep myself hydrated throughout the day and start the day, day out very good, is I just chuck down one liter of water. I just, whoosh, it's just chugging down, no sipping, it's just all of it down at once. First, when I wake up, because in that way, then uh, you have your, I always go to the bathroom in the morning, go to the toilet, because then it's always completely yellow. But after I took down a, one liter, and then I carry on with my workout and all that, but then uh, it's slightly yellow for the rest of the day, and then I just sip some water throughout the day. And that helps a lot for me to uh, keep me hydrated and I also live in an environment where it's not it's not that hot here in uh, Denmark for most of the year so it is a, 
uh, eight months of the year is just winter, where four years is yeah potentially uh, summer and, and warm. Of course, the warmer it is, the more water you have to drink. The colder it is, you can get away by drinking less water. But it also depends on what you do and so on and so forth. Then there also is a tricky one because you also have a salt sodium balance in your body. And if you increase the sodium in your body, then you also feel more thirsty. You want to drink more water, but it's only to actually balance it out. And you can also feel more thirsty if you are lagging salt. But why I bring sodium, uh, aka salt, up is that for example, when is when is summer? When it's warm, are you doing a, are you fasting, intermittent fasting, then drinking a glass of um, salt water, where you just, you take normal water and then you put down some uh, salt in it. It can help you maintain your hydration throughout the day, as the salt is binding the water in your body and and help to hold on to it. Of course, you don't want to take that much max a, like a, a, teas, a teaspoon. And of course, if you still feel first, first afterwards and how much water you actually should drink for the amount of salt is, it, it, it depends on how much salt you the, you you take the more salt you take the more water you need to uh, to take as the right balance but you can kind of fill it out as you, if you take too too much salt you will feel, feel uh, way more thirsty so you have to just drink some more water to balance it out so yeah that was everything for today's episode building your life podcast Every single Monday at 8 p.m. European time. See you in the next one. Take care. Coach Jasper. We out.